Okay, let's talk about the edge split modifier. I think that one is new to Blender, but I'm not entirely sure. So what you see here is the figure that we created in the subsurf part. All I did was apply a subsurf modifier, add a subsurf division surface modifier of 4, and then increase the crease of the what used to be the base is now the top. So if I render this, you can see let's add another lamp so I can Okay, this is uh, still very... Oh, 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 right, all right. It's only rendering two of those. Let's render four. Okay, it looks a little bit better, but st you can see that this edge is behaving very weird. It should be... If I put this to flat, it should be a perfect straight edge. And uh, let's actually see. I have never used this. Let's see what happens if I mark this sharp. Um, and turn this back to smooth it still doesn't do what it's supposed to. It's still rendering this weird edge. So I'm going to apply the subsurf modifier and uh, let's actually try that again. It uh, still seems to be marked sharp, so just uh, just in case I'm going to do that again. Oh, come on. Control E. Mark sharp. Okay. But it's still not doing what it's supposed to. So, in the old Blender, you could just say, if you set shading to smooth, you could just say a limiting angle. So everything above 50 degrees or something gets uh, to be a rounded edge, and everything above 50 degrees up to, I guess, 179 will be a sharp angle. That doesn't work anymore. What you have to do is add the edge split modifier, and you can immediately see this edge, ge this edge gets straightened out immediately and now you can see you have a nice sharp edge where it's supposed to be. Again you can select the split angle like in the old version and um, if I let's say do this and I extrude these out and I'll uh, move these down scale these out a little okay you can see if I increase this angle, you can see those vanishing. So if I increase this just a little bit, you can see now this angle, even though it's sharp at this point, now this angle gets treated as smooth again, like I guess in this one it should be. So you might want to put this up real high, like uh, almost to 80, in order to get realistic results. And yeah, that's the edge split modifier for you. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the sharp edges do. Let's press J to get a um, to get a uh, direct comparison. And if you press J, you can toggle through those slots here, which is really great if you want to um, compare your different render settings. You just use slot one, and then you render. After that, you select an empty slot, render again, and then you can just flip through those with J. And to be honest, I don't see the slightest bit of difference, so I'm sorry, I do not know what sharp edges... Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There, I should have hovered over this. Okay, if I uncheck edge, um, edge angle, you can see that it's going to be smooth again. But if I alt-click on this one and then press the E, no, no, again, control E and mark sharp, it will now only use the edge split on those angles that you set to be sharp. Okay, great. That's the edge split modifier. I guess you'll only need that in mechanical modeling, where you have parts of machinery that you that have rounded parts and sharp parts at the same time. I haven't used it for anything else so far, but um, uh, I don't want to say that's a limitation. It's a very necessary modifier. So, um, yeah, that's it about the edge split. Stay tuned, and the next one will be the mask modifier.